Santa Cruz Mountains, 56 miles south of San Francisco, California. Below the Santa Cruz Mountains lies the San Andreas Fault, a fracture or crack in the Earth's crust. The Pacific and North American plates have locked tightly together with high levels of friction created when the plates scraped past each other in opposite directions. Powerful currents in the liquid rock of the mantle beneath them places an increasing strain on the plates as it tries to move them. The pressure continues to build until it becomes too much for the plates to withstand. Suddenly, the plates jerk free, and with an explosive burst of built-up energy, powerful shock waves are sent pounding through the earth in every direction. I was living in Capitola, which is a few miles from the epicenter of the earthquake. I was asleep and my flatmate was also at home. We immediately knew it was an earthquake and we knew we had to either find a solid structure to get underneath or a door frame. And as we were doing that, we, we couldn't even walk across the floor because the movements were so strong. We were terrified. We had absolutely no idea what was gonna happen. Apparently it was only 17 seconds, but it seemed, it felt like it lasted for five minutes because it was so traumatic and scary that it just seemed like it was an eternity. It takes just 23 seconds for the powerful shock waves to travel 90 kilometers north to the city of San Francisco. As the city shakes, the power is knocked out. Commuter traffic grinds to a halt and emergency phone lines begin to jam as calls flood in from around the city. 911 emergency. Ma'am, I know. Everybody else is scared too, but we just don't have the time to stay on the line. Fires break out in the Marina district as underground gas pipes are ripped apart. The emergency services call in reinforcements as a section of the San Francisco Bay Bridge gives way. In the violent shaking, the upper section of the Cypress Freeway connecting San Francisco with Oakland collapses, crashing down onto the lower road. Many people are instantly crushed beneath the concrete rubble. As the road shifted, the roof of the car kept coming down further and further, and the area kept getting smaller and smaller. So I laid across the armrest of the car, and then as aftershocks happened, I would just lay further and further over. Imagine having your leg caught like an animal in a trap, and having the cars in front of you on fire is absolutely horrifying. They really thought that I was going to die in there. 